Tick tock. It's that time of year, tick season, and along with ticks comes the threat of Lyme disease. This place is great for a walk, but it's loaded with ticks. But Lyme disease isn't the only thing you can get from a tick. Believe it or not, a simple tick bite can bring on Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is a palsy of the facial nerve, which is the nerve that controls the muscles in the face. Rare but not impossible, yearly 20 out of 100,000 people like Karen get Bell's palsy. This started four months ago and I'm hoping for a full recovery. Um, each day I keep looking to see if it gets better, um, but it doesn't. This one-sided facial droop makes daily routines difficult. So it's kind of embarrassing. It's true, there are a lot of other ways to get Bell's palsy, but Dr. Towns says a tick may have been the culprit behind Pamela's disorder. When I first noticed it, I couldn't blink my eyes one at a time, and I thought I was having a stroke. And I believe I got mine from a tick. I mean, crazy as it seems, I let my dog sleep in my bed. I would recommend if you have the sudden onset of a facial droop, you contact your doctor immediately to talk about that. Pam was lucky. Her case was mild. She recovered in just three weeks, but not everyone is that lucky. I guess the most frustrating thing for me is just not knowing. You know, I keep not knowing if it is gonna get better. I'm Marty Salt reporting.